Yeah, well, Sheriff Pedro, experts tell us that walking around in public with a high-value dog is can be as risky as walking around with a Rolex on your wrist. Thieves are eager to make a quick buck and appear more brazen than ever. He's like a child to us. Like, we love him dearly. Mm -hmm. And seeing him being dragged away was just so heartbreaking for me. It happened in an instant to Isaiah Ramos and Charlie Johnston. Armed men stealing their beloved French bulldog named Meech in broad daylight Monday morning near Flower and Olympic in downtown LA. I heard behind me a car door open, so I turned around. And when I turned around, I seen a, a man coming from the back seat and another from the passenger. And I seen that they both had guns. Ramos snapped these photos of the suspect's vehicle, clearly capturing the license plate. After calling police, he turned to social media for help. I just joined as much pages as possible and just started posting pictures of the vehicle of the person of our dog and it spread like wildfire everyone was being very helpful sharing every post these dogs go anywhere from 3500 to 5000 dollars Bruce Thomas is a law enforcement expert he says designer dog napping is on the rise they're up 31% locally and over 250% worldwide since the pandemic started. The breeds of dogs that are stolen, and we'll just go with the top five. You have the French Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Yorkshire Terriers, Chihuahuas, and then German Shepherds. Once the dog is ransomed back or returned and people put out rewards, they can have another party associated with them claim they found the dog and want to return it for the reward. By Tuesday morning, a woman called the couple saying she found their pup wandering Slauson Avenue. They met up, checked the dog's microchip at a nearby veterinarian, and sure enough, it was Meech. She was very kind. Yeah. I'm not sure if she was associated by no. any means. We don't believe so. They gave the woman a portion of the reward, relieved they had their best friend back. Like, it's happening everywhere, but you don't think it could happen to you until it does. LAPD says they are investigating this case, but no arrests have been made. Experts say the best thing you can do to keep you and your pup safe, pay attention to your surroundings when you are out with your dog. Also, don't walk alone. Try to avoid posting pictures of your designer dog on social media. And always be sure your pup is microchipped. We're live downtown. John Finolio, KTLA 5.